hello so let's continue with uh, summer 21 qp 13 to all new viewers please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so that i can support you more so question number 24 says that a microphone is connected to a cathode ray oscilloscope a sound wave of constant frequency is detected by the microphone the screen of the CRO is shown the time base setting is one millisecond per centimeter what is the frequency of the sound wave so let's find the number of boxes in which the complete wave is being completed that's one two three four boxes and the time base setting is one millisecond so that would be the time period would be four millisecond so the frequency would be one over time period which is one over four milliseconds so that would make up 250 hertz so our correct answer is a so question number 25 says that a train's whistle is emitting a sound of frequency 500 hertz as the train moves with a speed of 20 meters per second along a straight track the train moves directly towards the stationary observer standing next to the track and then passes the observer the speed of the sound in the air is 330 meters per second what is the difference between the frequencies of the sound heard by the observer before and after the train has passed the observer let's identify what do we have 500 hertz is our source frequency 20 meters per second is our source velocity 33 meters per second is our V the formula we have to apply is F naught is FSV over V plus minus Vs if it is moving towards we would apply plus and if it's moving away so we would apply negative so we have to find both and take the difference so first plug in the value for when it is moving towards so plug in the values the answer will be 471 hertz now let's plug in the value for a V with the negative sign. So for a V, the frequency is 532 hertz. So 532 minus 471 makes up 61 hertz. So D is the appropriate answer. Question number 26 says that gamma rays, microwaves, light, visible light, X-rays are four regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, which list shows the four regions in order of increasing wavelength. Do remember this by Rivox G. Rivox G and this is in the order of increasing frequency and in decreasing wavelength. So applying this A is wrong, B is right, C is wrong, D is wrong. So B is the proper answer. Question number 27 says that to produce a stationary wave, two waves must travel in opposite directions through the same space. Which statement about the properties of the two waves must be correct? So they must have the same speeds, frequencies and wavelengths. The wave must have equal frequencies but different speeds, not correct. The wave must have equal speeds but different wavelengths, not correct. The must wave have equal speed, frequency, wavelengths. Seems to be the correct answer. The wave must have equal wave and different speeds, not correct. So question number 28 says that the speed of the sound in air is 330 meters per second. Which size of the architectural features in a large concert hall would best diffract sound waves of frequencies 0.44 kilohertz? For best diffraction, the aperture, the aperture must be equal to the wavelength itself. So what we can say is that we have to find the wavelength so in order to find the wavelength we need to apply the formula v is equals to f lambda and lambda becomes v by f plug in the values this becomes 0 0.750 meters or 750 millimeters so b is the appropriate answer so question number 29 says that a double slit interference pattern using a red light of wavelength 7 into 10 to power negative 7 has a fringe spacing of 3.5 mm. Which fringe spacing would be observed from the same arrangement of operators but using blue light of wavelength 4.5 into 10 to power negative 7 meters? So let's see the formula for double slit arrangement. So from there we are given with the values of x and lambda. 
so let's the relation between x and lambda becomes x is directly proportional to lambda so we can write in it in equation form now we can plug in the values and find the appropriate answer so from over here our x2 becomes 2.25 which is approximately 2.3 millimeters so our appropriate answer is a so question number 30 says a beam of light of a single wavelength is incident normally on a diffraction grating. The angle of diffraction theta is measured for each order of diffraction and the distance between the adjacent slits in the diffraction grating is d. A graph is plotted to determine the wavelength of the light. Which graph shows should be plotted and how is the wavelength determined from the graph? So let's see the equation. That's n lambda equals d sin theta. Now let's set up in the form of y equals mx plus c so our y over here is n n equals d sine theta over lambda so on the x-axis it says to place d sine theta so n equals d sine theta multiplied by 1 over lambda so that's our gradient which is m so it says that the wavelength should be so the wavelength should be 1 over the gradient so if we take the reciprocal of the gradient so that should give us the wavelength so b is the appropriate answer a particle has a charge of positive 2 millicoulomb and is in a vertical uniform electric field an electric force of 1 into 10 to negative 2 newton act upwards on the particle what is the electric field strength so a positive charge is moving in a downward direction so that means that the particle is moving downwards so either it's a or c now let's do the calculation and find the electric field strength electric field strength is f force upon q force is 1 into 10 to the power negative 2 and the charge is 2 into 10 to the power negative 3 so the appropriate answer is 0 0.2 volts so a is the appropriate answer so question number 32 says that the diagram shows two parallel metal plates connected to a dc power supply through a resistor there is a uniform electric field in the region between the plates which change would cause a decrease in the strength of the electric field so let's see the formula for electric field so according to this formula let's see that what would decrease the electric field strength so the electric field strength must decrease so it says a small increase in the distance between the plates if the distance between the plates is being increased the electric field strength would decrease so straightforward a becomes the appropriate answer so question number 33 is a wire of length 12 cm <coughs> and contains a total of 5.1 into 10 raised power 22 free electrons when a potential difference is applied across the ends of the wire the free electrons move with an average drift speed of 5 4 into 10 raised power negative 6 meters per second what is the current in the wire so i equals to nave cannot be applied so what we can do is see the basic equation of current which is i equals q over t q can be written as number of electrons into electron charge and the time can be rewritten as length over velocity from velocity is length over time so from here our current becomes n e v over l now let's plug in the values and find the current so after the plugging in the values of number of electrons electron charge and velocity and length our current appropriate value of current is 0.27 amperes so this is our correct answer which is a thank you for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel especially for the new viewers do subscribe my channel and thank you